damn it. Damn it! What the hell? Nice. This is the full Windsor knot. Start by grabbing the wide end of the tie in your right hand and the narrow end in your left hand. Start by crossing the wide end of the tie in front of the narrow end. And then take the wide end up through the loop around your neck, behind the narrow end of the tie. Once you pull this through, you want to end up on the left side of the tie. Now again grab the wide end of the tie and cross it behind the narrow end ending on the right side. Now take the wide end of the tie and go up and over the loop around your neck and down through the loop ending on the right side. Now cross the wide end in front of the narrow end and come up and under the loop around your neck and then once you pull the tie out now come down through the loop in the front of the tie. To successfully tie this tie it's best to keep all these motions with the tie being snug so that your knot stays small and concentrated. All right, Dad. This is my right hand. This is my left hand. I think I told you wrong the first time. I think the piece in your right hand needs to be a little bit shorter than the piece in your left hand. To begin, take the piece in your left hand, go over the piece in your right hand, switch hands, so now this is in my left hand, and the piece that's now in your right hand, you're going to go underneath the, to create the knot. Tie it tight. Now the piece that's remaining in your left hand, it would have been the shorter piece when you were putting it together initially, you're going to form part of the bow. So you fold it up against your neck, I'll do that again real quick, fold it up against your neck, and now all that's remaining is the knot. To form the knot, and this is the tricky part, you go over, and then what you're going to do is you're going to need to find the hole You need to find the hole, and you're going to need to push it through. And don't, it doesn't matter how it feels, you push it through on the other side, because you're going to be able to straighten the tie up. So now, look at this. I know that's not pretty, but now you just take the bow tie, and you just begin straightening it. <coughs> I'm going to look in the mirror real quick. So now, there you go. If you need to move the knot, you can shift it left, you can shift it right. But just try to massage it to make it real tight. So here in this video, I'm going to teach you the easiest and most popular way on how to tie a tie. Uh, this method is called the four in hand knot. And what you want to do is you want to take the wide end of the tie in your right hand and the narrow end of the tie in your left hand. And generally you want to make the wide end of the tie twice as long as the narrow end. Um, each tie is a different length, um, so you probably have to pr practice a few times uh, before you figure out which length is the best. But generally you want the wide end of the tie twice as long as the narrow end. And once you do this, you want to take the wide end of the tie and you want to wrap it around the narrow end so that the wide end of the tie ends up in the front. Notice how the wide end is in the front covering the narrow end. After you do this, you want to take the wide end of the tie and you want to take it and push it through the loop that's created by your neck. And notice how this knot is starting to form. And what you want to do is you want to take the wide end of the tie and push it through the knot. You want to make sure that you keep everything straight. And now we have created our four-in-hand knot.
Now you need to pull the narrow end of the tie and make it tight with your neck. Make sure everything's straight. Pull the collar over the tie. And now we have completely finished our four-in-hand knots.